Great to have your company on yet another edition of DXB Today. Thanks very much indeed for tuning in. You've got us for the next hour or so as we look back on some of the big events in and around this city. And we ask the question, to buy or to rent? As soon as I say that, people will think property. But you know what? We're looking at it in a number of different guises because this is a very modern city with a number of ways to look at things. So let's have a little look and see what's coming up on the show tonight. We catch up with McCann, the premium furniture rental service, to understand how their rent-to-own model works in Dubai. We're chatting with the COO of Rove about their latest residential concepts in the city. Plus, we've got Midnight Buzz Band joining us in the studio for performance. Yeah, we're looking forward to this one. It's going to be another busy one right here on DXB Today. And we thank you very much indeed for uh, getting involved. Do send us your thoughts at any point throughout the show. You know the hashtags, you know the handles. Get involved. Because it is fair to say, I think, that this is a city, a very modern city, that, yeah, is steeped in the heritage of the past, but is uh, also very engaged with the future. And that's why we see so many different ways of doing things here. And look, let's be very honest, from the off, you know, a number of these, uh, th th these initiatives, a number of these policies are available in cities around the world. I just get the impression that Dubai is one of those early adopters. You look at things a little bit differently. Times were, especially when it came to, to rent or to buy. To buy was, okay, you were putting um, your, 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 your roots down here and we're gonna stay for a little longer. Uh, things then changed and it became a bit more of an investment model. Now people just like the freedom. So again, I suppose the question we're gonna be asking everyone today, property and otherwise, to rent or buy. Amy. Um, rent or buy. I mean, I think your car? here, it's- I you would, bought your car? I've bought my car. Yeah, I have, and, and have my furniture? furniture I have, but my Clothes friend- today, have you bought those? I have bought them, but there are many rental services as well, which are great if you've got an event and you, a one-off event, you can rent a dress, which I think is great. And I do like this rent to buy idea with the furniture. I know my friend recently moved into a house and she wanted to furniture, but didn't want to have that commitment of yeah. going out and purchasing expensive furniture. So she's renting it and paying it slowly bit by bit, which I think is a great idea. I think the rental option is also great for those who are just new to Dubai, because these are the people who aren't sure yet if they're going to be planting their roots here yeah. in the country, and they just want to have their options a little bit more open. Yeah, and, it, and, it, and look, there is a financial play here, is there not? You know, we are living in a city, as many cities around the world, uh, they're more expensive at the moment. The cost of living is going up. People are therefore mm -hmm. keeping a closer eye on what they learn and what they spend. And having those other options make it more... I, and again, okay, so we've looked at it from number... I, I don't know how far we can go into the conversation without mentioning generation. Is there a generational thing at players uh, here as well? Are the younger, ge are younger generations more likely to rent rather than to make the commitment to buy or not? Yeah, I think so. I think, I mean, I was having a conversation with my cousins when I was recently back home and they don't feel the need to purchase a car yeah. or a house, you know, things that are kind of ingrained in us older people. Uh, you know, you buy the house, you get the car, you know, you have that stability, but there they, they don't feel the need to do that. Everything is accessible. You can have everything and you only need to rent it. But the question is what happens when you stop earning? You have nothing. Yeah, and it's really interesting because because perspectives have changed, haven't they? Because Ames makes a really good point there about the fact that when we grew up, it was that sort of, you know, the ladder was, you went to school, you, 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 you studied hard, right. then you may mm -hmm. go to university, and then you got your job and you went up through, and then buy at some point- house. Then at some, some point you buy a house, yeah, and that was it. Exactly. You were on the ladder, weren't you? Where it's changed now. Absolutely. And I think because, I think it also has to do with our financial education as well. People are being more open to other ways of earning, and inc that includes changing your perspective on buying and renting. Yeah. But before we get too deep into this conversation, really? I think we should welcome our guest co-host, don't you think? Wow. Okay, let's find out who he is. Hi, I'm Matthew Amlo, the Editorial Director of Arabian Business, and I can't wait to join you on the show shortly. Yes, Matthew will be joining us in a little bit, but now we are on the lookout for hassle-free renting solutions. So we went down to a furniture rental service to find out how they are reinventing the rental space with easy to own premium quality home furniture. This is McCann. Hi, I'm Atman from McCann. Hello, I'm Yusuf from McCann as well. 
With Youssef, we've always been passionate about building things. Uh, we wanted to build a business together for a long time, and one day Youssef came to me with an amazing idea. I was moving into my new place and was struggling with furniture, and realized that over the past 10 years, I moved eight times, always faced the same issues with furniture. First, it takes me a lot of time to furnish my place. Then I have to pay all that furniture up front. And I think the worst part of it is when moving out. And this is why we created Mekan. With Mekan, we offer a furniture rental service, reinventing this furniture experience. Our mission is to make it easy for everyone to live in their dream home. I think our life has changed. First, in average, we spend 18 months in a place before moving to a new one. Second, People give much more importance today to flexibility and freedom compared to ownership. And that's why people want to rent furniture. By renting furniture, they pay only for the time they use the furniture. They, if they need to move to a new place, they can do it instantly. Third, and most importantly, you help saving the planet by contributing to the circular economy. Today, 12 million tons of furniture ends up in landfill every year. It is the second largest contributor to landfill. Our customers have access to a wide range of furniture items on our websites. They can pick and choose the furniture or select the bundles that have been curated by our designers. So let's take, for example, this coffee table. It would cost 2,400 dirham to buy on the market. With Macan, you pay only 99 dirham per month and keep the flexibility to return it to us after 12 months or rent to own it in 24 months. At Mekan, 90% of our furniture is made here in UAE with local producers. This significantly reduces its carbon footprint. Secondly, and most importantly, when a customer returns furniture to us, we have a thorough seven-step refurbishment process that will make it as new again so that you rent it again. This way, we keep furniture in people's homes instead of landfill. We feel like we solve the real problem for our customers who move into new places every couple of years I don't want to go through the hassle of buying, selling, moving furniture. They found in Mekan a sustainable and beautiful alternative to fast furniture. So if you're moving into a new place and looking for furniture, you can go on our website, mekanhome.ae, or simply follow us on our socials, at Mekan Home. I love initiatives like that, all the team from Macan making a difference in an area that can be very costly indeed and wasteful as well. Now, our guest co-host today is a distinguished figure in the realm of journalism, whose uh, insightful perspectives and strategic editorial direction uh, have played a pivotal role in shaping uh, his publication and magazine into a trusted source for business, news, insights and analysis across the whole of the Middle East. It's a warm welcome to DXP today to the show this evening, the editorial director at Arabian Business, Mr. Matthew Amlo. Now, quite the intro, eh? Well, with the introduction like that. I know, you've, that, that's it. You, should we just, should we close the show now? You know, I think it's one of those days, isn't it? Mr. Amlo, great to have you with us here. Uh, Amlo is, of course, the man in charge of Arabian Business uh, and other titles as well uh, over at ITP. Good to have you on board. Um, where do you stand on the whole, the, the, the wider picture of, uh, uh, in the, in the rent or buy argument at the moment? Are we going down a road? Are we going down a lane at the moment that renting, uh, not just of properties, of properties as we know them, Jim, uh, but renting in general is a more preferred mode of living for a lot of people moving here? I think that's, a, that's an interesting question to answer because it probably depends on the person involved in the product or service you're referring to. Uh, and we can go through each of them in turn. Subscribing or renting products has its own advantages, which we can also go into, but purchasing has its own advantages as well. In property, for instance, traditionally the argument has been you should purchase your property, and then instead of paying rent, you're paying towards your property as well, uh, hopefully achieving your own financial goals. Renting, on the other hand, is actually cheaper in the short term as well. But that extra money that you're saving not buying the house, you could use that for something else instead. So it really depends, and unfortunately this is a bit of a cop-out, it depends on what your objectives are when you're looking to purchase. Or okay, a little follow-up question, maybe a little easier, but it, in, a, in, a, in a bull market at the moment, as we are at the moment, we're seeing rents go up through the roof, we're seeing house prices going through the roof as well. What does that encourage people to do more? Because not all of us are sitting on squillions of dirhams to buy property at the moment. So does that therefore push more people to rent? 
renting means that there's more availability of services, right? So property, for instance, is a, is a good example. Not everyone has squintillions, as you put it, to be able to <laughs> purchase a property. And they might not want to live in an area that they can afford, especially with um, the traffic situation in Dubai. It means that we might want to rent somewhere closer to work. However, if you talk about a product which is perhaps doesn't require septillions amounts of cash to purchase, like a, a car, for instance, uh, then you might instead want to purchase it because your horizon for finishing your purchase payment for the car is only a couple of years. Now, Matthew, so what I've noticed recently with a number of the, my contacts, the people in my circle, is a lot of people have chosen to purchase instead of to rent. And these aren't people who are earning quintillions, as you would say, but these are people, regular people as I am. They're purchasing. Is this a new trend that you see, or is it just because I'm in a new circle? <laughs> I don't know. You've made new friends. I know. <laughs> well, your new friends and old are probably all experiencing the same thing, which is part of the real estate market of Dubai has been going through an absolute boom period. Prices are going up, uh, everyone's property prices are going up, and renting is becoming more expensive as well. The interesting thing to be said here is that I would argue that we're actually in a third cycle of the real estate market in comparison to previous uptimes in Dubai real estate. Namely because the people who are purchasing the properties are purchasing it for a different reason than they might have done historically. If we look at that period 2009 to probably the, the COVID downturn, we had a lot more investors in the marketplace buying so that they could then rent the properties. Nowadays, what you have is a lot of residents who are purchasing their property in order to live in it, which one would argue is probably better for the local economy as well, because there's a lot more stability if somebody is purchasing the property to live in it, because they're much more likely to actually keep on paying their mortgage rather than lose their house. What about the, the generation game? Because that always crops up in this conversation at the moment. Younger generations, millennials, Generation X, um, don't really want to buy. They'd rather rent at the moment. They've got an apathy to own anything at the moment. Is there anything to back that up or is that just lazy analysis? I do think a lot of that analysis is couched in the fact that the numbers would normally suggest that that was the case. Mm. But I think there's also a very strong argument to say that, frankly, the cost of living and the cost of ownership is a lot higher than it might have been with previous generations. Mm. If you look at the US, for instance, millennials today now have high ownership rates. Yeah. Previously, you used to say that millennials don't buy property. As of earlier this year, I think the latest figure was 52.5% of millennials now own property, mm. which is a startling transition from what it might have been five years ago. And it's because of the ability of millennials to purchase property has increased. They have still sought to buy property because they're able to. So I think probably that argument that people prefer to rent rather than buy is couched more in the fact that maybe those consumers can't afford the products and are instead renting them. In terms of personal uh, finances in the subscription economy, um, what does it mean if you don't own anything? It's a fascinating question. My favourite fact actually when you talk about subscription models is that the most recent study they did on people who use subscription services, which is pretty much everybody, is that around 43% of people have a subscription they're paying for, they don't remember they're paying for. Oh, really? Which would mean that of the four people sat here, two of us are currently paying for something and we don't remember paying for it. I'm one. <laughs> it means in, in a subscription oh, yes. economy... Up with a sofa. <laughs> <laughs> it means that people, you're paying for something but you never actually end up owning it. Okay. Linking this whole conversation back to where we started, this should mean that you'll probably have availability to better products. If you're renting a car, for instance, or leasing a car, you probably have a much nicer, newer model than someone like me who bought a car 10 years ago and I'm still driving the same thing. <laughs> Um, but it also means that you should have some extra cash saved up. And what you should use from a personal finance standpoint is you should use those savings to help fund you in later life. Okay. I remember that I've paid my Arabian business uh, subscription as well. There's one, there's, there's something. I'm glad I'm... you slotted that in. So whilst I'm here, <laughs> make sure you subscribe to Arabian business. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Before he continues plugging, <laughs> we're going to learn how to drive and drop our cars with the CEO of Self Drive. Plus, we're going to be chatting to Rove about their latest <laughs> residential concept, Rove Homes. So stay with us on DXP Today.